Let's play a game. Let's see if we can find any imperfections on the surface of the OPPO Find X. Well, let's save some time because there aren't any. This is the smoothest, most attractive smartphone I've ever seen. It's stunning, absolutely beautiful. And it's a triumph in design, ultimately. There's no fingerprint sensors, there's no camera lenses, there's no funny garish designs added by an over-enthusiastic designer. It's perfect. Is it though? Design isn't everything. I mean, what about specs? And what about what makes this phone special? Well, there's quite a bit that makes this phone special. Let's have a look at the main one, which to be honest, if you've been following this phone, you'll know it already. It has a motorized camera at the top and that's because there's no cameras on the outside. So let's get this started. It actually has face recognition too. So when you slide up the screen, the camera appears at the top there and looks at your face. Let's open that again. And you can see here the camera array inside that pretty cool motorized sensor. There's two lenses at the top here, a 16 megapixel and a 20 megapixel. Oddly, they both have the same aperture, um, which is unusual for this sort of camera. However, that doesn't stop it being a good performer. We've been really impressed with the pictures that it's taken. Around the front is a very nice selfie camera. This is 25 megapixels. OPPO has a history of giving us very impressive uh, selfie cams, and this is no different. It even has an artificial intelligence mode that makes you, um, well, prettier, I guess, younger, I guess. Who doesn't want that, right? But it does change you visually and is quite enthusiastic in the changes that it makes. So the camera is a real winner on this phone, not just because it looks so amazing when it comes out the top of the phone like that, but it takes great pictures too. Inside is a Snapdragon 845 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM on this model and 256 gigabytes of storage. So it's, well, it's a monster phone. This is as flagship spec as you can get. The screen is also huge, 6.4 inches, but as you can see, it's super compact. There's no bezels or very, very tiny ones all around the side here. So in hand comfort is excellent. OPPO has also done this great job with thinning the phone down at the sides here. This makes it feel thinner in your hands, even though it isn't, it's actually quite thick. It's 9.4 millimeters. So it's hardly a thin phone, but you wouldn't believe it when you put it in your hand, really comfortable to hold. And we've got this beautiful blue version here. We've also got the red model alongside. You can see the two, there's a subtle difference between the two, but it's not garish. It's really very attractive indeed. Both of these phones are import only. You're not going to find them in stores in the UK or in the US. So you're going to have to work to get one. You're also going to have to pay out to get one. OPPO have given this a price of a thousand pounds or a thousand euros at launch. You can find it for a little bit less online, but still that's a massive amount of money to pay no matter how good looking the phone is. The other compromises you're going to have to make well, it could come with durability. There's no waterproofing for a start, and that's partly because of this camera module at the top, because it pops out of the phone, and if it gets wet, obviously water is going to quickly disappear inside the phone. You don't want that. There's also been reports of the phone bending very easily. This is made of glass, and it has an aluminium chassis, and although we're not going to bend it like some other people have, there's definite flex, if you, even if you try a little bit. All phones do it to a certain extent, but we're not going to risk breaking this beautiful device just to see how easily it does break. But a case and plenty of care is going to be recommended if you decide to buy the Find X. What else do you need to know? Well, it has some quirks. The Find X runs Android, Android 8.1 in this case, and it comes with Google Play services and Google Play Store and everything you'd expect installed despite being an import phone. But it uses OPPO's Color OS user interface over the top. And it's quite a drastic change from stock Android that you might find on a Pixel phone. 
as you can see, all your apps are spread across multiple home screens. There's no app drawer. It's got a slide in section for some basic information uh, that it gathers through daily usage of your phone. You swipe down the top here and you've got your alerts and all your notifications. Some you can respond to, for example, text messages there, but tweets and things like that, it just gives you a list. So there's not actually anything much you can do with them. And that works the same on the home screen as well. There'll be a limited amount of interaction with notifications on the screen. We've not had performance issues with Color OS. It's perfectly fast, it's smooth and easy to use, but it, there is a learning curve and you're going to have to deal with that if you decide to buy the Find X with ColorOS installed. There's a few tweaks in there as well. There's a gesture controls where you can use the side of the phone to um, flick back between open apps. This hasn't been very reliable for us, but there's things like uh, lift to wake and double tap for the to wake the screen as well, which are helpful when you're waiting for the face recognition system to work. If you're concerned about speed of that, it's not slow. Uh, we've been told that it's sort of 0.5 of a second to go from opening the screen to the camera coming up and recognizing your face, so hardly an age. But it is slower than most fingerprint sensors that you might have used in the past. We've equated it to being similar to the, the first wave of in-display fingerprint sensors. Uh, for example, on the Vivo Nex S, which is a similar device to this with a little pop-up camera and uh, very minimal bezels at the side of the screen. It's similar to the performance you get from new technology there. So it's not quite so fast, but it's hardly slow. It's also super secure because it uses an infrared camera just like the iPhone X. So it's more secure than the camera-based systems you might see on phones like the OnePlus 6. Speaking of the OnePlus 6, that has a similar specification inside but costs half the amount of money. You don't have to import it and you'll get a warranty. So unless you're really taken with the design, which we can't blame you if you are, there are cheaper alternatives out there that offer you similar specification to the Oppo Find X. However, for design and just sort of outstanding wow appeal, there's very little that comes close to the Find X at the moment. If you're gonna get one, treat it really carefully. Don't get it wet, definitely don't get it wet. Don't drop it, don't bend it, keep it in a case and you'll be pretty happy with your purchase. However, do remember that if you're going to import one, you're gonna to have to work hard to get it and warranties might be hard to come by. However, much as we don't want to say, yeah, go out and buy it, it's difficult not to say, if you've got this in your hand, people are going to notice and say, wow, what phone is that?